All right, our learning target is I can model area formulas for parallelograms, trapezoids, and triangles by decomposing and rearranging parts of these shapes. So when we're talking about the area of a square and a rectangle, the area is the total space taken up by a flat surface. The area is how many squares can fit in this shape. So if you look at this picture, for example, there are six squares in the shape. You can also multiply the base and the height to get the same number. So what I mean by that is you have three at the base, two at the height, three times two equals six. So the formula for area of a parallelogram, which is a square rectangle, um, is area equals base times height. All right, so for a parallelogram that doesn't have four right angles, we are going to cut a triangle off of one side and translate it which means to slide it to the other side. So we cut this off and we slide it to the other side. So when we slide it to the other side, it makes it look like a rectangle. So the rectangle has the same area as the original parallelogram because all parts of the parallelogram are used to make that rectangle the new parallelogram. So my formula for the area for a shape like that is base times height still. All right, area of a triangle. A triangle can be cut apart to make a rectangle. And we can do that by either changing the rectangle to be half of the height or half of the base. So when we cut this part out and we add it to the side that was left over, it makes a triangle and it ends, or sorry, it makes a rectangle and it is now half the height of the triangle. And that is how we get that formula base times um, height divided by two or one half times base times height or one half or base times one half height. It doesn't really matter what order you multiply them in. All right, area of a trapezoid. You would cut the trapezoid in half where it's parallel to, to its bases and you can make a parallelogram out of the two new trapezoids. So we're going to cut it in half where that half mark is parallel to the two bases. So the area of the large trapezoid plus the area of the bottom trapezoid is how we're going to get that formula. So from the area of the parallelogram, we this shape, we create the base times height. And then the area of the larger trapezoid is adding the two bases times the height of the original trapezoid. So we get base one plus base two times half of the height. Because we have this base one plus base two times half of the height of the original because this is half, half the height of the original. Thanks for watching.